Hello, I'm Kate Wharton and I am so pleased to have this opportunity to say thank you for choosing my novel Homecoming to discuss with your book club. I love book clubs. Surely the only thing better than reading a book is getting to talk about the book, argue about the book, share a love for the book, disagree about the book with one's friends. And I am thrilled to think that Homecoming has found its way into your book club. One of the things as a writer, because writing can be such a solitary occupation, one of the things that I love about it is the fact that I spend so much time writing my version of the book. But once it's published and I hand it over, you take it and read it and turn it into something completely unique, something between you and me. Because that connection, surely that's what it's all about. Books and stories connect us in this great human enterprise of which we're all a part. And I love the idea that the characters and the story and the settings and places that I knew and loved and spent so much time with have now been given another life in your hands and have actually made their way into your book club. So thank you so much on behalf of Homecoming and myself for bringing us into your world. Happy reading, happy discussing. Hi, I'm Kate Morton, and I'm very excited to be able to tell you about my new book, Homecoming. Homecoming opens in Adelaide Hills on Christmas Eve, 1959. At the end of a scorching hot day, on the edge of a creek in the grounds of a grand and mysterious house, a local delivery man makes a terrible discovery. A police investigation is called and the small town of Tambila finds itself embroiled in one of the most shocking and perplexing murder cases in the history of South Australia. 60 years later, Jess is a journalist in search of a story. Having lived and worked in London for 20 years, she now finds herself laid off from her full-time job and struggling to make ends meet. She then receives the phone call no expat wants to receive. Her beloved grandmother, Nora, who raised her since she was a child, has had a fall and been rushed to hospital. Nora has always been a really strong and decisive presence in Jess's life. She's encouraging, she's decisive, she's larger than life. So Jess is really alarmed when she turns up at the hospital to find her grandmother frail and confused. Even more alarming is when she learns that Nora fell when she was climbing the stairs to the attic of her house, the one place Jess was forbidden from playing when she was a child. At a loose end in Nora's house, Jess does some digging of her own. In Nora's bedroom, she discovers a true crime book outlining the police investigation into a long buried tragedy, the Turner family tragedy of Christmas Eve, 1959. It's only when Jess skims through the book that she discovers a shocking connection between her own family and this once infamous crime, a crime that has never been resolved satisfactorily. And for a journalist without a story, a cold case might be just the distraction she needs. Homecoming is a big book about family and storytelling. It's about home and belonging. It's about the secrets we keep and the lies we tell and the healing power of the truth. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait for you to read it. I was actually working on a different book at the start of 2020, a book set in Europe. But then the pandemic struck and my family and I moved uh, from London back to Australia for what we thought would just be a short period of time. Um, and it was there, uh, surrounded by my extended family for an extended period of time, an indeterminate period of time, that I started to think a lot about at home and at belonging and coming home and what that meant and, and what it meant to feel at home and what we're actually seeking when we talk about um, wanting to feel at home. And so, you know, surrounded by the um, landscape of my childhood, these other ideas came to me and it suddenly became very important to me to write about um, this place, a place that I know uh, intrinsically, that I, you know, I know to my, my bones. Uh, and so I set aside the other project and started work on Homecoming.
I love to write about family because in my view, families are the perfect small theater in which to explore all of the great themes of, of humanity, uh, love, lust, envy, betrayal, secrets and lies. And I'm gonna come back to secrets because anyone who's read any of my books knows that secrets always sit at the center. And that's because I think you can tell, well, for one thing, their secrets are always found in families. And anyone who says to me, my family doesn't have any secrets, I always say, you just don't know them yet. Because wherever you get a group of people, you will find secrets. And that's, uh, I love story and plot, but it always flows from character. And one of the most instructive elements of character is the decision individuals make about what they will tell and what they will keep to themselves. And so through an exploration of secrets, we learn a lot about characters. Storytelling really is central to Homecoming, as it is um, to all of my novels. I believe that we really are the sum total of all the stories we're told about ourselves and that we we tell ourselves, uh, and so it is for Jess, who has grown up with a, a very impressive, strong grandmother, Nora, raising her, uh, who has been responsible for telling Jess all sorts of um, stories about herself, about her family, uh, about the world more generally. So Jess is a, you know, a really good example of, of someone whose identity is that way formed. Um, second to that, Jess is also a reader as I suspect are uh, all of you, as am I. And having grown up um, as, the, you know, she's the sort of character who as a girl would squirrel herself away to, to read and, you know, absorb everything she could out of her books, she knows, as do we, that books aren't just separate items over there. They really do become a part of you so that the landscape of your imagination is formed and becomes as real to you as the landscape um, out there, outside the window, um, which leads me to the, you know, the sort of third aspect of, of storytelling within Homecoming, and that is the presence of um, a true crime novel, which actually appears in full within the book, uh, and it is a, you know, as the name would suggest, it is a book about uh, the investigation into a true crime, um, the solution of which is is a little problematic. And through the inclusion of that book, through Jess's relationship to stories, um, the book, uh, and I as the writer, was able to explore these ideas about storytelling and truth and, and the sort of um, friction that can lie between the two. <laughs> Secrets are so compelling because everybody wants to know the things they're not supposed to know. And illicit knowledge is always what is kept secret. In a book, secrets are important because they, it's the things that a character chooses to keep concealed that often tells us the most about them. And certainly um, in a broader sense, when you're reading a secret and the, the promise of its revelation is exactly what you need to sort of pull you through the story. The idea that genre and literary are somehow mutually exclusive is, is an idea that I find really problematic because, of course, uh, you know, as a writer, I want to use everything that the storytelling toolkit um, has available to me. Uh, certainly, um, you know, genres work because there's a, a tacit agreement between the reader and the writer that enables a sort of shorthand in storytelling. And that's hugely useful, particularly when you're trying to um, use mystery or, or secrets as, as the, the pull through the narrative, which, which is what I do in my stories. Um, Always what I'm aiming to do or what I'm aiming to create is a good story well told. Well, I hope that's given you some insight into Homecoming. And now I wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you.